So I found the path. I found the path where the sign was and I walked up the cliff on this path and I got to the front gate of the ashram and there was a chokidar there uh, mm -hmm. who didn't speak English. And he called a young man who turned out to be Raghvendra and Raghvendra was number three in the ashram. And uh, I said to Raghvendra, I've come to earn meditation. And he said, I'm sorry, the ashram's closed because the Beatles and their wives are here and we're doing a course for TM teachers. And I didn't know they were in India and I was already a fan. Hold on, hold on, let me stop. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no, you can interrupt any time. You are gently throwing it in. The Beatles, I, you know, this is cinematic. I'm sure you realize you're a filmmaker yourself. You know yeah. everything that you've told me so far. Right. It's like a movie script. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. And, and I, I read some of your writing on your website. You are cinematic in your writing, too. Yeah, thank You're you. Very yeah. Visual. You're very, very visual. Yeah, that's true. That's just the way I am. So when, so, when you were told that the Beatles were there, right? I'm sure it rang a bell, right? Well, it actually was bad news. Two-time Emmy-winning filmmaker Paul Saltzman reminisces the fascinating story of his seven days with the Beatles in India in 1968 on Mayankshire Reports this weekend. 